mother of Shannon Matthews, a nine-year-old girl who went missing last week, has made a fresh appeal for information about her daughter. Shannon was last seen at her local swimming baths in Dewsbury, where she was shot at ten past three on the 19th of February. Her mother, Cara Matthews, says Mother's Day is a day when every mum wants her children around them. Today, I don't want cards or presents. I just want my darling daughter home safely. Shannon's best friend, Megan, says, I am really, really sad, and if you know where she is, just call and tell us where she is. On the day she went missing, she was wearing a black puffer coat, dark grey trousers, and pink and grey Bratz furry boots. She's described as four foot one inch, shoulder length brown hair, and a white complexion. National newspapers have put up a £20,000 reward for her safe return home. The case is similar to that of Madeline McCann, who went missing on the 3rd of May last year. Shannon's mum, Karen, said that they have a special bond and she believes that Shannon is alive. If you know the whereabouts of Shannon Matthews, please call the police urgently on 0127 437 3737 or call the helpline free on 0808 800 7070. And now over to Rebecca and Candice. Good afternoon, my name is Candice Campbell. And my name is Rebecca Kenyon. And we are reporting from BBC News School Reports. How much would you be willing to pay to watch four episodes of Friends? It cost one man £11,000 after his wife downloaded four episodes onto his mobile phone. He is now complaining to Vodafone that the charge is outrageous. His wife wanted to download four episodes of Friends whilst in England. However, her husband travelled to Germany and found out that his wife has been downloading on his phone. Consequently, he has been charged £11,000. This news was released on the 3rd of March 2008. When we asked to interview Ofcom and Vodafone, they both refused to comment and also said they do not deal with individual cases. However, Ofcom said they will do something about it according to www.pcpro.co.uk. Our researchers also found out that you can buy 52 box sets of Friends for the £11,000 that he was charged. In Germany, if you want to download a half an hour program, it will cost £1,000 or £5 for one megabyte. But this is not the only problem involved involving Vodafone. There has also been an Ian Simpson who was charged £27,000 for downloading. And now over to Megan and Kaylin. Hello, my name is Kayla McMurdo and I am joined by Megan Greenwood. She will now tell you some information about the dangers of plastic bags. Plastic bags have been ruining our environment and our wildlife. The Prime Minister is threatening to bring out new laws if retailers do not act immediately. Some shops have been trying to reduce the amount of plastic bags and particularly Max Spencer's and Ikea. Max and Spencer's are giving away free throwaway bags to fight the problem. They are selling the bags at 5p in all of their 600 UK food stores and the money is going to help this cause. They say use of plastic bags has already been reduced by 70%. Traders in a Devon market town claim they will be the first in Europe to be entirely free of plastic bags. All traders and shopkeepers in Mugborough, from small shops to bigger names, will stop providing plastic bags to customers from the 1st of May. Last week, a whale was found dead on the shore on the Isle of Mull, with 23 bags in its stomach. This is a clear example of the problem. We will now hand over to Karen and Paige. Hello, I'm Paige. And I'm Karen. Here is the BBC News School Report from the City Learning Centre. Our story today is about the plantation of cannabis in the area of Chinatown. Officers found 476 cannabis plants that have been seized, and three people arrested following a raid on the on suspected cannabis farm. In Oldham, detectives swooped down on a four-bedroom property on Mona Road. The plants were that had a street value of around £90,000. Officers are now investigating the if the raid is linked to the seizure of 317 cannabis plants from other houses on the same street in November. PC Sam Seddon from the Operational Support Unit said information from the public had been vital in yesterday's arrest. She added, we would, like, we would ask the community to continue to help us by looking out for anyone suspicious visiting a property or a regular basis at strange times. Look out for large amounts of electrical wiring, light fittings, chemicals or compost being delivered to houses. Or bright lights coming from a number of windows all night long. And now over to Brownie and Emily. Graffiti vandalism and litter are major issues in schools around the world. 
We have contacted our school teacher, Mr Stock, and asked his opinion on these three crucial issues that are happening around local schools today. The first thing we discussed was graffiti. Barnsgate is a renowned graffiti artist who graffitis on public walls. Concerned Mr Stock states, it costs money to remove it, which could be used elsewhere. It does not give you a nice environment to work in. An express packer, Katie, said graffiti doesn't necessarily have to be an act of vandalism. Also, it's an illegal offence to sell spray paint to children under the age of 16. But does this stop them? Graffiti versus art is a subject long and hotly debated, said a Bristol City Councillor. Think for yourself, what is your opinion? The Bristol Council have therefore sent a DVD called Street Level to all secondary schools in the region. The next issue we have looked at is vandalism. In the UK, the Council have spent £480,000 on repairs following vandalism. It is an estimate... It is estimated 4,000 per school. After reviewing the issues of vandalism, the bill to repair it could have paid for 50 extra teachers. Vandalism mainly happens in the school holidays because children are vulnerable to boredom. The last issue we have looked at is littering around schools. A pupil of Cowan Hill School quoted, I think litter is a disgrace to mankind. Even though we have brought Britain out of the dark ages, we are now ruining our chances of future generation of good citizens. A man from Alden was the first person to act on work rather than pay when he threw his chip packet out of the car window. This led him to community service. Thank you for watching School Reports and good night.